we are going to continue the event by the speech from Dr. J.S. Rajkumar. Please come, sir. Good morning, everyone. Very quickly, I must say, there's a real galaxy of uh, icons that we have today, both on and the first half of the stage. I can see a lot of youngsters in the back, you know, students. And I must tell you that when we grew up, many of us grew up thinking, you know, those of us who wanted to be cardiac surgeons, wanted to be cardiac surgeons like Dr. Girinath, and later, and Dr. Cherry, and then Dr. Bashi. Many of the people who wanted to be oncosurgeons wanted to be like Dr. Hemant Raj. Very, very early in my life, we heard that Professor Ramlingam, Dr. K.K. Ramling was the very icon of ENT work. So for the youngsters sitting at the back, there are doctors here, Dr. Bhaktavachalam, a man who converted, uh, first was a surgeon, converted into a businessman, and then completely rewrote the corporate medical industry of Coimbatore. He's with us. We have people like Dr. Surendran, who, and Dr. Ravi Shankar, champions of the Indian Medical Association who've taken us far and wide. From the industry side, you have people like Mr. Ravi Pachamuthu, who could dream a thousand dreams, you know, being a very personal friend of his, I know that the main difference between him and us is that the kind of size of his dreams, if you think of a 100 bedded or a 200 bedded hospital, he would think of a 2,000 bedded hospital, or he would think of 20 100 bedded hospitals. And I think the difference is simply in the size of dreamers. And of course, our very, very dear chief guest, with whom I have enjoyed a full evening about 20, 25 years ago of uh, pure Urdu Shairi. And I must say, we really, really uh, enjoyed ourselves. We also have people like uh, Dr. Tajmal Hussain and Professor Mir Mustafa, good friends of my father, and other administrators like Dr. Raju from SIMS. I would like to start by thanking uh, Mr. Ghani for having made this possible simply by getting such an icon, such a bunch of icons, a galaxy of icons onto the stage at one point of time. I have two or three very, very personal issues that I would like to quickly pass on more for the youngsters and also to share with everybody. First of all, sir, we talked about Shairi. I remember the Shairi that we discussed was written by Bahadur Shah Zafar saying, Jab bihaan se jayega, kuch bhi na saath aayega, dogas kafan ka tukda, tera libas hoga. I think some people will understand here. He said that it means that when you go, nothing will come with you. Nothing will come with you. Not any award, not the money that you make, not this coat suit, nothing. No awards will come with you. Only dogas kafan ka tukda is there two yards of linen, muslin, in which Bahadur Shah Zafar himself was wrapped when he was sent away for Dafun. So nothing else matters and it's very important to, to, be, to think of that. When the whole world calls you and says, oh, there's nobody like you. One must think of Jalaluddin Rumi, who said, God only sees you at 3 a.m. in the morning. The you at 3 o'clock, you may be a big professor, a big doctor, a big businessman, a, a vice chancellor, whatever. 3 o'clock in the morning when you're prostate makes you wake up. The face that you see in the mirror, the heart that you see in the mirror, that is the only thing Jalaluddin Rumi said that God will see. Not the coat, not the suit, not the throne that you sit in. Sirf wo, just what you are at 3 a.m. in the morning. Just the real you. Another beautiful statement he said was when you get any award, it's not really award that comes you should start looking for reward. And those of you who, like me, read the Gita first and then move on to the Quran, you'll understand that the only true reward, it is said, will come on Judgment Day, you know, Kaimat Kadin. That is what the true reward is all about. All these are awards. So I think we need to take all these with a certain sense of value with what there is. Dr. Seem Kiar spoke very beautifully about something, about communicating, about one-upmanship, which I'm so sorry to say has, has been a rot in the Indian system, that everybody at some point in time needs to prove that he is better than somebody else, he's done a better surgery in a shorter period of time, he's earned a little bit more money. You know, you go back to 2000 years ago, Thiruvallur so beautifully said, Vidu Petrin Akdopiladud, that is Vidu Petrin Selvangalil, Akdopiladud, one without any Yedina Yiladud, without any compare, is what? Yarmatum, Adukatru Anmai Perin, a man who can be absolutely non-jealous of anybody for anything. He has the greatest wealth, is what Thiruvallur said. And I think that if you took a look at Dr. CMKR's entire talk, it is just summed up in seven words in one of the Thirukkural. Whole thing was there, sir. He says, Alukkar ava veguli inna chol ivai nangum irukkadu yenra naram 
if in the source of your work you have no jealousy arikar ava greed another 10000 another 10000 another 10000 until he goes to consumer court arikar ava veguli unnecessary anger he was talking about not blowing up in front of the patient communicating softly in natural veguli is anger in natural is rough words if you can avoid rough words i think the whole thing is said in just seven words you know arikar ava veguli in natural ivai nangum youngsters especially at the back who are embarking upon a career irukadi endradaram and i think at the time of getting awards and you know pumping ourselves in the chest and saying we are like this we are like this one needs to remember about the most important basic values of life that will come with us to the duffin or it will come to us to the cemetery two concluding statements i would like to make because i know that so many eloquent great speakers are before us one is that i was just looking at what would have what is common between dr kk ramlinga dr girina dr bashi dr hemantrat and i think to the youngsters in the last few benches it's a focus that also very beautifully valdwar said enniyadu enniyangu eiduvar enniyar tinniyaraga perin a man who is focused on something will get it the way he wants not just get it later 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 will get, i plan to get my whatever mch by such and such a year you will get what you want when you want and as you want provided you are telliyaraga ten you provided you can just be focused on that and nothing else i've seen dr bakhtochlam for example when he made the transition from a surgeon like me to a pure corporate man medical man he stopped talking about exactly how you do an esophagojejunal anastomosis he moved on and started focusing on something and i think that is where that is why he got somewhere we're all here to celebrate the achievements of a few doctors with thanks to mr gani limra tamra uh, limra and tampa and i must say that at this point of time to end the friendship of good people as shakespeare said friendship of a few good men i began with a shairi there are people here who like shairi i will also end with a shairi a beautiful piece of writing it's like haiku saying you know mera dil mein mera dil mein arman bahut hai in my heart are plenty of desires every man from birth to death you know there's some desire or something will keep coming definition of human being saturated desire mere dil mein armaan bahut hai magar zindagi mein gham bhi bahut hai in the process of life gham is sadness you know kabhi khushi kabhi gham there's always sadness in life kab ki maar dalti ye duniya hame kab ki maar dalti ye duniya hame some day itself this world should have finished and killed me but for and this i think all of us must strive to make kab ki maar dalti ye duniya hame magar kam waqton doston ke duaon usme dam bahut hai the uh, and with i think the the true love and friendship <laughs> is very very important and i think that if we try to achieve true friendship and honor honor above all in our profession we will stand to represent the awards that we are all getting today thank you all very much